Chess.com is now here with the sole leader of the 2018 U.S. Championship with two rounds to go, Grandmaster Sam Shanklin. Congratulations on your win today. Thank you. And uh, do you think that ending was a little harder to convert than you thought it would be after you'd won the bishop on h3? Yeah, I mean, I, I blundered a couple times. I think knight d3 was a really poor decision. I thought that after c4, queen e4, I'm just taking his pawns. I thought he's simply losing them, but he found queen d6, which I hadn't seen. And then I don't actually have a direct way through. I mean, the computer says I can play knight b4 and mate him, but like I'm also letting his pawns through. Like That's actually a double-edged variation. And so... I was a little too bourgeois. There's no reason I should ever let this c5 pawn get to c3. And then at the end, it's probably a draw. I mean, when I played h4, he found just the right moment to play queen c6 because I really started to run low on pawns. But luckily, I was able to keep one alive. I don't know if he could have held somehow, but I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not sure if you're watching the board right beside you, but there was a moment today where Hikaru may have been able to score the full point against Fabiano. Did you notice that? I just noticed some position I thought looked nice for him. I didn't calculate a single move. I mean, I... At some point, I thought his position looked good, but I didn't notice anything further than that. Was there a point, though, that you thought, hey, there's a chance I could be ahead a full point with two rounds to go? I'd try not to worry about that. I mean, now I'll be mad if, since it doesn't happen if I think about it too much. It's better to just focus on the games at hand. You know, Hikaru did his best, and when he's having such a tough tournament to sort of be bossing around the world number two with black is, you know, kudos to him. Yeah, but you must have been pretty excited that uh, it was clear Fabiano was not going to win his game. Well, even that wasn't totally clear to me because I just wasn't paying any attention to the position. All the pawns are on dark squares, opposite bishop positions, anything can happen. I mean, but, uh, well, I'm just glad that he didn't score the full point. And you've already done my work for me, so thank you. You already know your live rating, 2693. Yeah. What is a bigger goal of yours, making 2700, winning the U.S. championship, or defending your Olympiad team gold? Uh, probably the biggest one would be winning the U.S. championship. I mean, defending the team gold would be a big one, too. 2,700, maybe this is just me being exceptionally arrogant, but I have a feeling it will come. I mean, I, it's something, I mean, even if I don't achieve anything else in my chess career, I'm hopeful I can achieve that. Uh, but U.S. championship is something I haven't done yet. This is my 10th time. I've had a really rough run of it so far, but, you know, if you don't succeed at first, just keep on trying. And as we saw at the opening ceremony at the U.S. Chess Hall of Fame induction ceremony, Alex Onishuk got to 2699 three different times before making 2700. So I guess it's a good lesson. That's more of a career trajectory than a singular event. Yes, of course. And it's also round numbers are pretty generic. And nowadays, 2700 doesn't get you that much. It puts you at number 45 in the world or something. It's not like before where 2700 meant you were really one of the best and you're getting invites to all the elite tournaments. There's still a long way to go after that. Well, if you make it, you'll be the, only the sixth American ever to break 2700. Have you already done some other math? Have you already figured out if you've punched your ticket for the Olympiad team? Have you earned enough points? I haven't done that math, but at this point, I'd be shocked if I haven't. And what's your focus going to be on the next couple of rounds? I'm going to try to keep doing what I've been doing, play good chess. I'm not going to change my routine. It's worked so far. Uh, I'm not going to approach the games differently because they're high stakes. I'm just going to play the same. And last question, is part of the routine not shaving when you're doing well? Because I don't think you're the only player to not shave when they're doing well. No, I just it takes me a long time to shave because I grow really fast. Uh, I shaved, I think, on the rest day or maybe the day before. And uh, if I have an occasion, I will. I mean, if I, but it just it takes me time. That's time I don't have when I'm trying to prepare. Well, there you go. Grandmaster Sam Shanklin leading the U.S. championship, doing a Teen Wolf impression. I'm not sure if that goes back to the 1980s or not, but uh, good luck. In that is. <laughs> that's showing my age on you. Good luck trying to win your first U.S. championship. Thank you.